All right, in this video, we're going to be investigating are rational or irrational people superior at love? Is there such thing as superior or inferior love? Well, I can tell you the irrational camp is going to say no right away. <laughs> the rational camp is going to say yes. Um, I am on the rational camp. I'm going to be arguing, of course, that rational love is far, 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 far superior to dumb animalistic love. This is my marvelous penguin. Um, it's an inanimate object. If I were irrational, I could probably love this thing quite a bit. So first, we get a look at my new logic model. And to anyone in the emotional camp, they already don't care. So, here's how it works. I have a syringe, and in this syringe is oxytocin, a very high concentration of oxytocin. And when you inject it into yourself, you feel the most intense euphoria of love ever possible. And I know oxytocin doesn't actually work like that. Um, people tend to have these things where it's like, ooh, dopamine euphoria. But if you actually inject a lot of dopamine, you will get schizophrenia. Um, anyways, let's not be pedantic. Let's focus on the actual subject. So we have our love injection. Let's just call it a love injection, all right? Highest euphoria ever possible. And we got a lifetime supply of this stuff, all right? So it's never going to run out. And your brain's never going to desensitize. So that's the first scenario. Now the second scenario is what I call external love. You have two people or whatever, and um, they very, very, very deeply care about each other. Um, they deeply respect each other. They do everything that loving people would do and to the highest extent ever possible. They would die and be tortured for each other a thousand million times over, right? However, these people are not biologically capable of feeling love. They have no actual sensation of love inside them. So, which is higher quality love? The person, the junkie, who is just injecting himself with love perpetually, or these other people who have all the behaviors of love but they don't actually feel love itself. And to me, the answer is very simple. Uh, the answer is a combination of both. I think that true love is when you have the subjective qualities of love and the internal dimensions of love, as well as the external dimensions of love. So when we have both, this is superior. Now, what I find very interesting about that model is if you go up to anyone on the irrational love camp and you ask them, is the highest quality of love ever possible just injecting yourself, right? They're always going to say no, but that contradicts their view because they're the ones who are telling you love is just a feeling, right? They're the ones who are saying there's no such thing as superior and inferior love. Love is just a feeling. Well, in that case, then the injection should be the highest quality love in their view. So their view is already contradicting to begin with, and that shouldn't be a surprise because irrational people tend to be full of contradictions. They don't care about contradictions. Um, but we should if we want to be good at something. So why is irrational and impulsive love a bad thing? Um, is it a bad thing? Right? Well, I think it's a very bad thing because when you, we are irrational and impulsive, we're not even paying attention to very important things. Okay? So we're not even trying to objectively understand who understands us. We're not trying to pay attention to who is respectful towards us. We're not trying to pay attention to who do we have similarities, deep fundamental similarities. All we're doing is just going by our gut, right? And our gut feelings tend to be very stupid. Um, and, and if I were to generalize people, like female attraction and intuition is based very heavily on security. I think that ultimately, if a woman follows her intuition, she's going to end up with someone who makes her feel secure instead of someone she actually loves. Uh, on the other hand, um, male, uh, male intuition is also pretty bad. Um, it's based 
so heavily on uh, physical appearance, and the physical appearance is so heavily based on culture. And a lot of these things can be changed or modified just by thinking a little bit about them. Now, if you look at most marriages, then this becomes pretty apparent. Um, it does seem to be a business-like transaction where females trade sexuality for security. Um, and that's why it's bad to follow your intuition. You're probably going to end up in that camp and you're probably going to notice there's not much meaningful love in most marriages. Now, if you want to be good at something, which seems to make more sense? Doing things in a way that is retarded or doing things in a way that is smart and makes sense? I would say that chances are, if you want to be good at something, doing things in the way that are smart and make sense makes more sense. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't be smart and it wouldn't make sense. So that's a logical necessity. And uh, love especially, love especially included, if you do things in a way that is smart and makes sense, you're going to have much, much, much better results. Is this video convincing to you? What do you think? Are you on the rational or irrational camp of love? Uh, post your comments below. Let me know your thoughts. If you like this video, share it, subscribe, give it a thumbs up or whatever. This is a totally authentic philosophy channel. I do not accept donations of any type. I do not enable AdSense. I make absolutely zero money whatsoever. It's entirely for the propagation of good ideas. And this is how all education should be. And I um, challenge you to think about this for a minute because how much do universities charge you? But what do you think? All right, what do you guys think? Do you think, I mean, how many people watching this channel have taken philosophy in university? And I want you to post your honest opinion. Have you learned more interesting and useful things from my channel? Or have you learned more from a university, right? So I want to beat universities not only in the quality of education, but make it completely free and available to everyone, right? So anyways, uh, let me know what your thoughts are below. 